So hello everyone, my name is Arthur Temporin. I'm software engineer here at PicPay in Brazil. And as Matt said, uh, I would like to share with you some information about how to make Haza handle millions of daily messages. So uh, at PicPay, you have uh, a lot of users sending messages and we have this kind of issues. So it's really good to uh, solve these problems. So first I want, I would like to share with you about this context, don't context, because not, not everyone knows, knows PicPay. So PicPay is a financial application, a mobile app that you can download in your Android or iOS device. And uh, just a second. Okay. Uh, and right here I have two prints. The first one is your first image that you see when you download the, the, the application. Uh, that's ones that had uh, this guy with green hair. So you can register or, or log in if you already have your account. And bottom, right here in the bottom, have a, a question accent that goes to our chatbot, the second page. And our chatbot is fully using, uh, fully made using Haza. And we uh, love Haza, how Haza handled the, handle the chatbot uh, way. How has it approached this kind of problem? And uh, our chatbot sent this, these messages, uh, quit with our users and buttons. So today our, our solution just have buttons to communicate with the users, but we are, are working right now to use the NLU layer of Haza. So in things, entities and things like this, uh, everything is in Portuguese because BigPay is, uh, uh, Brazilian enterprise, so in Portuguese. And after talking a little bit about our context, I want to share with you about our initial solution. So first we had uh, the Haza X enterprise version, the all-in-one solution. So with the Haza X enterprise, you can get everything you need to to have the chatbot solution. You you have uh, the content man content management. It has a workers that your users will will be using to, to get the answer and things like this. And here at PicPay, you have two, two kinds of, of uh, actors. Right here, we have three three roles. So user UX writers, we're, we're responsible to do the content management. So creating dialogues, creating great answers on a chatbot. The, the second role could be a developer, responsible to implement the other custom actions in SDK. And sometimes forms because we start to use uh, Haza in the latest, the oldest version that we need to implement forms in custom actions. And the third role that we needed was a uh, DevOps because uh, Haza X Enterprise is running in our, our infra infrastructure. So we need to, to do configurations in Helm Chat and things like this. With, with the help of Haza team, uh, we were able to do all these uh, stuff. The, the other side, is an actor like the user, usuario means user in Portuguese, and the user is our, our client. The person has uh, sometimes an issue, has sometimes a question, that's our chatbot is responsible to answer. So this is this was running until March uh, of this year, 2021, and we have some, some challenges that we need to, to, to overcome. Uh, the first one was uh, uh, scalability, because <clears throat> Uh, we have more than, uh, a hundred million, a hundred thousand million events, uh, in a month. Sorry if I say this number, no, not correctly, but, uh, we have a lot of events triggered from our housing solution. And this not means, uh, messages because each message that I use is sent to get, to get some, some events. But in average, we have half million messages daily. And, uh, this graph, uh, shows to you this information and uh, doesn't mean, doesn't, is important the numbers, but uh, the way that the graph is, is, is show. So we can see these waves and is, is important to see uh, is, is scale is not just to grow and keep growing in uh, as needed. It's, it's important to go down when you do not need uh, uh, a lot of, of infrastructure, a lot of pods to handle this kind of, of Communication. So as you can see, it, it's like a wave that goes during the day around 12 p.m. is the time that we have uh, more messages and goes down. And 
what effects affect this kind of, of behavior in our, our solution is uh, propaganda, is advertising and things like this. So during the day, we have peaks and, and a different behavior from our, our users, our clients. And during the week too, so during the weekends, we have not a, a lot of messages, but during the, the week, uh, we have more messages and in the month, uh, we have some, some seasonal messages too. So, uh, our solution need to, to scale up and down as needed to avoid waste of resources, waste of money too. This, uh, this one was the first challenge. The second one was, uh, something related to development and things like this because we use, uh, hazard web chat. Hazard web chat is not, uh, directly from hazard. It's Kind of an add-on that you can use to to as a front end to your satellite solution, and we have uh, issues related to the course course configuration. So when we just had uh, one one hard worker was works fine, but when we try to scale and uh, change the way that uh, the communication between the pods uh, with the web chat we have some cost issues. So be aware that it's important to uh, make some configurations. We, we need to configure our, our DNS uh, uh, solution and things like this. And the second problem in this part was a problem with hazard connection. As I said, uh, it's important to configure co configure correctly the way that your pods, when it's scaling, will communicate with uh, Hazard Web Chat. So I, I'm not sure, but I guess Hazard Web Chat use Socket, Socket.io. So you need to success and, and things like this to avoid waste of, of uh, loss of mess messages coming from the users. So the third uh, challenge that you have to to be aware and overcome is related is related to the way that we were using Hazard. So right here I have a print from Hazard Architecture from Hazard.com documentation, and as I said, we we were using and still. We are using the Haza X Enterprise and it's really awesome. Have a lot of features that we use and, and, and uh, skip going. But uh, at PicPay, we have specific configurations and specific CI/CD pipelines that was not able to to use using the, the, the default Helm shots. And uh, one, one solution that we, we decide to to go is to separate the Haza open source, the agents, the worker, the provide layer that we were using. So here in this image has this square right here. It has open source. This part is responsible to chat when you are training your chatbot in HazX and see what uh, the behavior of the bot. But it uh, is still used to uh, answer users' messages. So uh, the HazX is an all-in-one solution and works really fine. But to our context specific, uh, we decide to separate this part. We decide to separate the content management layer to a provide layer. And this was just possible because Haza has this, uh, open source part. So we are, are using the Haza X enterprise in content management and, and managing things like this. And we have a, a, a chain that specific, uh, Haza open source, uh, to our context. And this is really awesome. So. I want to present right now my solution, uh, our solution here at Day, sorry, uh, me and my team made it. As I said, we have two layers right now. Uh, we have the content management part and the provide part. So one, uh, uh, right here we have some pros and cons. Uh, one of the pros is uh, we can update and drop and, and do everything that we want here on, on Hazx because uh, it's not related to the user. So if our Hazx drops, uh, doesn't matter because it's separated and we can do fine tunings in and change specific, uh, this part according to, to, to our needs. So right here, I just separate these two roles, uh, a creator and a dialogue lab. We still need a, a DevOps to manage this part. And, uh, these roles is responsible to get the MLU stores, rules, domain or config.html files. Uh, configure it and the outcome of our, our Hazard solution is a training model. So this is really awesome because with this out outcome, we just need to get the training model. The training model is the brain of the chatbot. It's a .targz file, uh, 
with uh, with some some megabytes, and we can just update upload uh, this file to a model server. So having this, this file in this model server, we can can load this in our, our cores. Uh, core is a worker or has an agent, and we have a main of it, and we can scale up and down as I said. So. This, this separation was really good for us for, to separate the content management, content management part, the, the way that we generate the brain of the chatbot to the provide layer. So it is separate ones and we, we can just focus in the, the best thing of it. Uh, one other thing, uh, that's good because we can increase the way that the, the agent, the, the worker from Hazex is, is done to, have more more CPUs or GPUs because uh, right here we need to train and to train uh, 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 as a model you you spend more money and more resources because it's a uh, machine learning thing. But to serve the solution, the same agent uh, that can train is the same agent that serves the has a solution. But right here it works like a simple API. Uh, we receive the user messages and get the tracker uh, the dialog. Uh, conversation and decide the best the best thing to. So right here is a simple API with a way more way less uh, CPU and memory. It's really cheap. So this kind of separation was good first. And again, just was possible because has is open source and has X enterprise can do this the separation first with oh. the help of has a team. So diving into the provide layer. Uh, I will go from right to left. So the users will send a message uh, using the Hazard chat. It's the same. And after going to to our layers and, and our pods uh, manager, we have uh, our workers. We call our workers, oh, sorry. We call workers as core. And we have two right here, but this is an example. This could grow to any and goes down to five. We uh, never have just one uh, has a pod uh, working, running. And right here, our pod, when, when starting, we'll download uh, the model server. After getting the, the information, the brain of the chatbot starts to answer. But when you have uh, more than one worker, you need to be sure that the tracker is the same for, for any cars because has a, when you're running has a shell or, or has a, in the first way, you, you will, you will lose the memory tracker store. But this in memory tracker store is just for the specific pod. So if I use a send a message and send a message hi, and this pod answers, okay, I am a, a robot. How are you? And the user just answers, I'm fine. And this one ends, uh, get the I'm fine, uh, message. Uh, these two pods need to, to get information from the same tracker. So the tracker memory does, doesn't work when you try to scale, and you need to separate your tracker. This could be a, a MongoDB or a, a Regis or anything like this to be the same tracker for any any instance of workers that you have. And we have a, a, a message queue framework to do this configuration uh, about getting the the events and storing in a, a data storage. So if we have some, any issue with our tracker, we can just drop down and the users that are crewing uh, having a conversation, we lost the conversation, but all the data is stored right here in the data storage and we will not lose anything. So we are kind of uh, replicating this configuration of the Haza, of the Hazex uh, architecture. Uh, we have a, a log manager. This is, this part is, is responsible to get logs from from the applications and the pods and things like this. And this is the main responsible to be separated because uh, this guy, this this guy is oh okay. Let me close this notification. Sorry, this guy is responsible to get logs uh, and was configuration in our, our specific pipeline. So we separated uh, one of the. Uh, this is responsible to we separate everything. Uh, right here we have external applications. So we have a, man, a ticket manager about the users. So this represents this kind of application or any APIs that we need to, to consume uh, using the has SDK, has consume actions. So this is our provide layer and 
this is our algo solution. So again, content management, con content management part and provide layer. And I just dive into our provide. Our content management is the same. It has an excellent enterprise version. It's really awesome. So right now I'll show you, share with you some, some results. And uh, as I said, we start to, to have this architecture running since mid of March and almost three months running and it's working really fine. So right here, I have some, some chart about our, our events on, on Haza. So Haza, when you send a message, you, you trigger some events in the, Message queue and right here in, in yellow, you can see, uh, the has a solution producing. So each pod receiving message will produce to the same broker and in green, you can see our, our pick pay consumer. So has a produce and yes, our pick pay consumer that we consume this message and start it in the data storage. So sometimes have some, some lag, but, uh, it's currently working fine. We have three partitions uh, of, uh, our, our, Message queue manager and we have, uh, around 33, uh, comments per second in average. So these chains are during the day, as you can see, the same behavior, but it's working. Right here, just, uh, for you know, uh, we have, uh, more than 100,000 million events and this go down to half million, uh, uh, messages and this go down to around, uh, uh, 20 uh, or, or 10, 10,000, 10,000, uh, tickets created. So, uh, users are, are chatting with our chatbot and having conversations and sometimes needs to, uh, the problem that the user has uh, is solved during the conversation. The chatbot explains some things or the user just drop out and don't, doesn't finalize the conversation. And right here, as you can see, we have, uh, again, increasing, decreasing the amount of tickets created. Uh, this represents the tickets that Humans uh, are are responsible to get the problem of the the, the client and solve it. So if the chatbot is not able to uh, solve the user problem, we can redirect this to a human. This this shot is my favorite one because uh, right here I'm showing the increase and decrease amount of pods. So as I said, we have many hazard workers, and we can increase and decrease it. And the Peak was around 23, uh, 23, and we lock it in five. So uh, we always will have at least five hazard workers running to handle uh, this amount of users. And this this part of the chart uh, is not related to receiving less messages. It's, it's related to the way that we configure. So if you increase the amount of CPU and memory of each pod, uh, not need to to have more pods running. So uh, this kind of configuration and fine tuning, we are still uh, realizing uh, what is the most efficient and the, the most cheap to avoid a uh, waste of money and resources. So right here, we, we just had a lot of uh, change during the day. And right here we have less change because we just increased the, we just uh, made some, some chains. Uh, right here, just for you know, is resources about CPU. So before we lost uh, a lot of CPU usage, we were, we just locked the CPU on our pods and we just, we were just not using. And after some, some changes in, in fine tuning in our help, help charts, we were able to avoid this kind of waste. The same to memory. So we have a lot of pods with a lot of memory. And after some, some tunings, we start to avoid this. So it's not uh, true. It's not. Uh, easy to just uh, escape everything. You need to be aware to avoid waste of resources and money. And that's it that I want to show to you. So thank you very much, Juan.